Hi guys, so welcome to another video. In today's video, we have my friend here and I'm doing her makeup for a wedding and this was the look we were able to achieve. So if you wanna see how we got this look, the products we used and all of that, then make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Bye guys. Now make sure you model, like close your eyes and so they can see it. Yeah, and sideways and, oh Lord. <laughs> look at <laughs> look at the camera and like smile like you would taking a picture like you're taking a picture this is gonna take a where you, where your face is it'll automatically snap a picture so you can move your face like different kind of ways so it can take the picture yeah yes oh that's how you take pictures <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> Hi guys, so I am back and I have another one of my friends who decided to let me uh, do their makeup today and this is a, an exciting day. This is Miss Sabrina and right now I am cleaning her face with some Marcella water and of course you know I had to speed up the clip so that I wouldn't the video wouldn't be as long. Then I'm taking my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Moisturizer uh, to moisturize her face with. Um, and I would say that Miss Sabrina had a combo to dry skin. So I really wanted to make sure I moisturized the outside of her face, which you can see her skin is like flawless. <laughs> It's like flawless, and she's one of my uh, older friends, hence that's why I call her Miss Sabrina. <laughs> then I'm taking my, precisely my brow. No, this is the Goof Proof. The Goof Proof um, brow in number five. I want to try 4.5 because I saw this makeup artist, and she said that 4.5 was universal to all skin tones. So I really want to try that one. I guess it's a brown, but it's not as deep as number five is. And as you can see, Miss Sabrina um, really doesn't have like very thick brows, but her brows have a beautiful shape. So I basically was just trying to follow the shape of her brows while lightly filling it in. And you'll see me uh, fill that in and then conceal. I think brows are my, or will be my go-to uh, type thing to practice on on clients that's what I'm really going to try to focus and practice on but yeah so um, Miss Sabrina was going to a wedding this day and she showed me a picture of her dress with which her dress as you'll see in the clips after I finish it, it was kind of like brown and orange and it had that kind of boho look to it I'm a visual person so uh I was trying to visualize a look. And once again, Miss Sabrina doesn't wear makeup. Like all of my friends, none of them wear makeup, right? <laughs> but um, so I knew that I had to do something that was a lightweight and just enough coverage to where she felt comfortable with it on. Like it wouldn't be overwhelming for her. So yeah. And then I forgot what, don't even ask me y'all what like some products I know I use and then some products I'm like, I have no idea what I use, right? I was just in my zone, and of course, I was talking. It was not Miss Serena. It was me. <laughs> I need to get somebody that I don't know so that I, I don't talk to them so that y'all can see, like, a true uh, professional uh, uh, makeup tutorial. Because if I know you and I haven't seen you in a while, like, just forget it. I'm just going to talk to you, like forever <laughs> so I'm just taking I took I do know I took a concealer to base her eyelids with uh, I've been loving concealer lately and I never thought that I would be the person to like concealer as an eyeshadow primer like I have so many eyeshadow primers that I never thought that I would like a concealer as a base and look at me I love the Catrice true skin Concealer. I found mine on Amazon and it's very cheap, very affordable, and that's what I've been loving lately. So I took this Car Beauty, I think it's over here in the corner. Of course, I can't see the name. Mind Blown 
palette, you know, I purchased that recently, if you saw the haul. And I'm still going to be a one palette girl, even if it's me on myself <laughs> or even if it's me with another client. Like, I don't like to pull out three, four uh, different palettes and try to create looks. I think for me, that just overwhelms me. <laughs> it overwhelms me and like it doesn't have to be that difficult. In my opinion, like it doesn't all all of these palettes, like I'm quite sure sometimes like you might have to grab two palettes to create a look. But when you start grabbing like three or four palettes, like that's doing a whole lot in my opinion. And I will confuse myself in a minute. So I took a mid-tone brown because like, of course, I told you her dress had some brown in it. So I was trying to stay like earthy tones and give her like some brown some orange some gold because those were the type of colors that were in her dress and plus those shades in my opinion are like comfortable shades <laughs> comfortable shades you know depending on what you like if you like warm tone if you like cool tone either way the browns, the orange, the golds, you can find cool and warm in both those shades. So, yeah. So, of course, you all know that I'm taking my Wet n Wild blending brush because who would I be if I did not have that brush? I don't know. One of my buddies, she said she wasn't a fan of the Wet n Wild blending brush, but you know me. I absolutely adore and love it. So, I went back in with some more concealer because I knew I was going in with a lighter like metallic orange shade still from the same palette and I really wanted it to pop but not like really really pop you know like I wanted it to like for her to be able to see it but not really see it because <laughs> for somebody who doesn't wear makeup you know you gotta you gotta put it on them like really slow like you can't just like bam pop like some pressed glitter on there or whatever because then they'll be like oh my gosh this is too much makeup I look too made up so you know you gotta slowly build them up right so after I put the concealer down then I go back in with the transition color to just kind of like make sure it's blended as much as I can get it blended <laughs> then I took a orange type same palette uh an orange type it had orange, brown, and like silver reflex in it from the same palette. So I'm just taking that and basically putting it all on the on the open spit speed, the open space on the lid, you know. And then it's just mainly just going back, blending, going back, blending. My my key areas that I know I want to work on. And no, I want to like perfect is eyebrows, a liner, liquid liner. I'm okay with eyeshadow, but I know like a lot of clients like that bold cat eye with liquid eyeliner. And I can't do it on myself. So I knew <laughs> trying to do it on somebody else would be like, I won't say like a struggle will be like a learning curve for me. So yeah. And as you can see, I I had a, I spent the most time trying to give her a liner with, without it overtaking her eyes, right? So then I went in with the Elf Jelly Pop. That has been my, when I'm doing like a client, that has been my go-to primer because I feel like it allows the foundation to stick to the skin without making it greasy or oily or cakey looking. It's like a very soft gripping primer a very soft gripping primer so I just took that with a brush and put that all over her face and I did uh, apply some lashes I think those were some like baby lashes y'all know I got a collection of baby lashes now it's one thing I got I got some baby lashes <laughs> from Shein I got those from Shein so I'm just taking it with a uh and what foundation did i use oh, okay so i mixed two makeup forever foundations together to get her shade see with the shade department i'm getting there like i can pretty much eyeball it to see you know what undertones or what 
you know, without it being too dark or too light. I can pretty much under undertone it. I can pretty much eyeball it and get it down. But you know, it never hurts to want to learn more, to want to uh, get your skills like up or whatever. So that's what I'm mainly trying to master and grow and just learn. Because y'all, I am not a makeup artist. But those who don't know or are new to my channel. I'm not a makeup artist. Like, I just love makeup. Like, makeup is just my thing. Like, that's just my thing. And I have a full-time job <laughs> that I work <laughs> five days a week. And I do makeup seven days a week. Yeah, right? So, that's me and Miss Sabrina just looking. Because she had a little piece of uh, hair, like, on her chin. And she was like, why you didn't get it? And I was like, I didn't know if you wanted me to pluck it. Because <laughs> I know Mama. When Mama has... Uh, a piece of hair like one day she'll tell me don't touch it and then the next day she'll be telling me to pluck it so I just wait for them to tell me to pluck it <laughs> so then I took some concealer I'm sorry guys next time I'm gonna make a mental note to jot down the products that I'm using so okay so if you saw my client tutorial yesterday with my good friend Kimi then you know that I kind of went overboard with the concealer for her so hint I learned from that now, I won't say a mistake, but that learning curve. So I said, okay, for this concealer, let me grab a brush to apply it versus the wand from out the concealer thing. And let me make sure that I apply very little. Y'all know I'm a Cara Beauty you down with this sponge, okay? This is the perfect blending, blending sponge. If you're just not a beauty supply store person and you really um, don't want to order from Car Beauty because I have never seen the actual sponge like in a beauty supply store or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, which also sells Car Beauty. I've only seen it online. The closest to the sponge, in my opinion, will be a real technique sponge. And I, I've had real technique sponges that have um, torn up or just went bad or whatever but with car beauty like I wash them and you know they go through whatever with me but they never tear up they never tear up and they're like the softest things ever so yeah I love those sponges so then I went in with my Sasha Buttercup to highlight underneath her eyes and I was telling Miss Sabrina to make sure she please look up <laughs> so I didn't want anything to settle in any fine lines or creases she may have underneath there she was a good like uh she was a good client to have because she knew how to hold her face and to how to look up even though we stayed talking or whatever but she knew how to like hold her face or whatever so then I went in with my thread beauty I need to get I'm trying not to like get because y'all know I can go makeup shopping crazy like I'm trying not like to get all of these shades and all of these like uh different makeup uh shades until I actually start like taking clients and getting a, for a variety of different skin type skin tone clients because I don't want to be stuck with all this makeup that I'm not using if I'm not using it on other people right so that's my meaning behind this this is my how we're going to do this so I'm still taking another car beauty sponge and just making sure I blend out that contour she was so happy with her makeup like she told me thank you a million times she texts me thank you a million times she <laughs> she sent me pictures a million times like I was that made me so happy that she was so happy with her makeup and she texted me this morning she was like she got so many compliments on her makeup thank you so much and I was like oh no problem like I just love that and I know realistically like you know you try to think positive 100% of the time but I know you have like some people who are never going to be satisfied like if you were to do their makeup like it's always going to be something that could have been better or something and that's just a learning once you learn your clients, like say if Miss Sabrina came Monday, she liked her makeup good. Then she came like Friday and she wanted something else. And she really wasn't pleased with that, but she came back again. So now you kind of know your clients and you know what they like, what they won't wear, what they really like. So, you know, it's all about getting to know your client. And a first time client can be difficult. 
you know, I'm talking like I'm a makeup artist. <laughs> a first time client can be difficult. So when you kind of get it right on the first time, like it makes you feel so so good and nothing is wrong with uh taking constructive criticism as long as the person who how a person delivers the message to you or you know the advice to you depends on how you receive it you know so here i'm taking um ysl i always call it ysl and it's not it's lys it's the black owned brand at sephora to have to line her lips and i went in with i do remember this i went in with the uh, Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Sun to, uh, cause you know, I was trying to keep it simple <laughs> and I was like, I was like, hun, I call her hun. I was like, hun, do you have, uh, some gloss at home or whatever? And she's like, yeah. Then when she sent me the picture she had on like a reddish, uh, peachy type, um, lipstick, I was like, Hey, if you like it, I love it. Right. So now I'm just, I just set her face with the no color RCMA powder and I'm just brushing it off. Next up, you'll see me come in with the outro and thank you so much for watching watching bye guys all right guys i'm back and this is my good friend miss sabrina yes i call her miss sabrina <laughs> <laughs> and this is the finished look for her to go to the wedding today close your eyes hon. so as you can see she just got a soft i try to incorporate some orange glitter because her dress has a little orange in it hopefully she sends me a picture and i can put it up with the video hint for you guys so you can see how it all comes together but she doesn't wear makeup often so this was something nice and simple you know so she didn't feel uncomfortable with the makeup on so as always i appreciate you for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye guys bye guys <laughs>